Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Thunder, and today we're going to be creating a main menu system so that when you load your game, this shows first, and when you hit play, it will load your game scene. First thing to make sure is have a game scene. I'm guessing you already have by this point. The next is create a main menu scene. For this, we'll go over to the top left where it says file, and we'll go to new scene. First thing, save your scene as. Once you've saved your scene, go over to the top left where it says file, build settings, and the first thing we need to make sure is that we have our scenes here. I'll delete this one, which is the default one, and we'll drag the main menu scene and the game menu scene. This is very important. Make sure that the main menu is the first one because this scene is the one that the game will load first. So the one that has the index of zero, make sure that's the main menu. You can go ahead and close this now. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and create a canvas and our main menu buttons. For that, we'll go over to our hierarchy, right click, UI, canvas. Go ahead and change it from constant pixel size to scale with screen size. And I'll give it a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Next, we'll go ahead and right click on our canvas and we'll create a UI button. You'll need two buttons for this, one to play your game and one to quit your game. But first, let's set up a way to arrange them without having to manually move. We'll right click here, creating empty, and we'll call this content. Then we'll go to add component and we'll add the grid layout component. Now, if you go ahead and drag your button into content, you'll see that it fills it and it takes its shape. If you duplicate it, you can see how he goes below. Now, all you gotta do is set up the cell size, which I'm gonna make something like 200 by 80. And over here on the child alignment, we're going to select middle center. I'm just going to set it up quickly. All I did here was I went ahead and created a background. I gave it the resolution of the canvas, center it. Then I made a text for the header. And for the buttons, I gave them their own source image. And inside, I just changed the text and the size of the text. The way you change the size of the text is by just changing the font size to make it bigger or smaller. We'll now move on to coding. For this, we'll go over to our scripts folder and I'm going to create a new folder called menus. Inside here, we'll go ahead and create a script called game menu. Go ahead and open it up. On our game menu script, the first thing that we need to do is go up here and add using unity engine management. Then over here, go ahead and delete these functions and create a serialized private string. Call this game scene name. Go ahead and create a public void called play. And inside here, we're going to do scene manager dot load scene. And for this function, we'll pass game scene name. Now, this is something very important to keep in mind is that you cannot call this game scene, otherwise, it's going to be an ambiguous reference. So make sure that this string is not called game scene. Now, go ahead and create a public void called quit. And another very important thing here. And another very important thing here, this was happening to me earlier, where if I call this function quit game, it won't work. It will completely mess up the script. So if it happens to you, just make sure you call it quit. Inside here, we'll do application.quit. And we're done with our script. Back on Unity, we'll go over to our canvas and create an empty game object, which we're going to call main menu. I'll drag everything into it. We'll go ahead and add the game menu script to the main menu game object. Put the name of your scene. In my case, I called it game. Then over here on the content, we'll select both of our buttons and we're going to scroll down to where it says on click and we're going to hit the plus sign and we'll drag the main menu game object to it. Then just select your play button and for the function, we're going to go game menu, play. And for quit, we're going to go game menu, quit. For testing quit, you'll have to compile the game. The way you do that is by going over here to file, build settings, then just select the platform and hit build. On our game, we can now see that if we go ahead and click play, it will load the scene for our game and we can play. So yeah, there you have it, a fully functional game menu system. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment down below, consider subscribing and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.